Hey, what's up, YouTube Nation? I just wanted to give you a quick uh, breakdown of what we've been catching the king mackerel and stuff on down here in, in, in Pensacola. Um, you know, starting out, you know, I, I just wish somebody would have broke this stuff down to me so I didn't have to read every article and watch every uh, YouTube video out there. So basically what we're running are what we call duster rigs. And these are just basically, basically it looks like a, just a little like skirt with treble hooks on them and they have basically a two treble hook system and the the duster just sits down on top of the treble hook right here and you're just gonna hook your bait right here through the nose just gonna hook the bait through the nose right here and then your fish is gonna dangle down and you're gonna slide this into the back of your your uh, your bait, your live bait, or your dead cigar mount, and it's just going to stick in his spine. And uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to toss these behind the kayak and just cruise along real slow and uh, just troll it and just wait for that kingfish to come up and smash it. You know, the water temperature's gotten to be about 70 degrees, and uh, you know these kings are starting to move in. The mahi mahi are starting to move in, so. Um, when you're looking at these dusters, you've got two different kinds, really, in my opinion. You know, this is all my opinion, but, you know, just from what we've been working with and, you know, our success lately, you can, you can rig these things a couple different ways. you got short skirts, which are these short ones, and you got things that are, you know, the ones that are a little longer, a little heavier, they'll run a little deeper, like this one. And this one has just the regular J-hook set up to where it has... Um, your first J hook here that you're going to run through the mouth of the mouth of the fish of your minnow, your bait. And then these are your trailer hooks that are just going to basically, you're going to hook into the minnow along the minnow's body or the cigar minnow along his body. And you know, when he misses that first strike and, and you know, he short strikes it, he's going to get these trailer hooks. Trailer hooks are key because those king mackerel will short strike and cut the fish in half, come back and get it. It's kind of the way they do. So, uh, you know, you want to get them with that trailer hook. Um, a lot of guys like to have a single hook, uh, front hook up here. Because it trolls a little better, it doesn't kind of like wobble when you're, uh, you're trolling. It's more of a natural presentation and it won't spin your line and just kind of tangle it all up. So, uh, and just look these things up, Duster Rigs, they're made by Duster, it's a great product. Um, and then, I like to make my own, my own leaders. I just go get some mailing wire over at uh, Academy, 43 pounds, if you're going after the big stuff, uh, number six wire, you know, 60 pound uh, wire, because those big kings and stuff will cut you off with that 43 pound wire, but the thinner the better, because they won't see it as well. Um, you just, it's trial and error. Uh, sometimes you're going to catch them, sometimes they're going to cut you off. Um, so get your own wire, get your own treble hooks, get the three times strong treble hooks, four times strong treble hooks. Don't get the little cheap junky ones because you will not hold on to these kingfish. Um, so um, just remember dusters, make your own leaders, mail in wire, and uh, get good treble hooks. Hey guys, I wanted to add on these duster rigs. Hey. Have a good way to store these things because they will get tangled on everything. I store mine in a little bitty like sandwich box, like a Tupperware sandwich box. And I just toss them in there and I close them like this and I throw them in my kayak. Because if you want to keep these in like a leader bag, like this wire gets caught on everything and treble hooks get caught on everything. And uh, you know, I guess you want them to get caught on everything, but just not in your tackle box. So keep it in mind, keep them separate, uh, keep them in something hard and plastic that, uh, you know, that won't get attached on everything else. So yeah, keep that in mind. And if you got any question about these, just shoot it to me. We, you know, more than happy to answer your questions. Um, and remember to follow me on Yak Motley, uh, Jack Motley Live Twitter. And uh, yeah, just have, yak on, man, yak on.